Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video we are going to look at how to randomly sort a list and in this example I have a list of names just seven but obviously this can be as large as you want it to be I've got a couple of empty columns here as well and an ID field in column A now we're going to achieve this by using some Excel formulas in columns B and D. The first one I'm going to use in column B, starting with cell B2 here, is going to be the RAND function. Now if you're not familiar with this, it produces a random number uh, between equal and, sorry, between uh, 0 and 1. Too busy reading that description there. Now if I put an opening bracket, it needs no arguments from us. I just put a close in bracket and press enter to run it. And here it is. If I copy it down, it simply generates a random number between 0 and 1. Uh, which on its own is not massively helpful, but we can use that. And I'm going to use that over here in column D. Now what my plan is here is to return the largest number, like number one in that random list, to return the second largest number in that list, third largest number in that list, and so on. And to produce the name in this list. So I'm kind of ranking them from one to seven in a way. But it's not going to be viewed as that. As far as we're concerned, it's just kind of shuffling that list, randomizing that list because of column B. But right now, I need a formula to return the largest number, i.e. name, in that list. And if we're producing that kind of thing, that sounds like a lookup. And that would probably mean we're going to use VLOOKUP. So in it goes, let's use VLOOKUP, the most well-known lookup function of Excel. And it's going to ask for the lookup value. Now, for the lookup value, I want the largest number. So I'm going to use a function called large. Now, some of you may have been expecting me to put max, and I could do that. But by using large, I can use the same function for every single one, because the large function will allow me to choose the second largest number, third largest number, fourth largest number, and so on. I don't only want the max. I do in this cell, but not for the other six. Let me put in that large function prompts me for a couple of things, the first one being the array, and that's going to be these random numbers in column B there, which I'll put in an absolute or fixed manner. A comma, and the cape value is A2, which I will not fix, because that needs to move into A3, A4, A5, when I copy my formula. So I'm basically saying, look for you know, the largest number, number one, the largest number in that range. I'm back in VLOOKUP now. You can see that in the box below, the table array is the random number generator and the names themselves. Let me fix that as well for when we copy. Comma, the column number is 2. Going through VLOOKUP quite quickly at the moment. So if any of you are not familiar with it, it's something you may want to uh, check out from a different video on our channel. Uh, comma false, although it is here on screen, I'm not just just not reserving much time dedicated to explaining it in detail right now. It's all about the random generation, that's what it is. This is my formula, large function, find the largest one. VLOOKUP, look for that value in column B, return the value, that's in C, precise match. I press enter, I'll copy it down. The RAND function is a volatile function, so every time I'm copying a cell here or doing something, you can see it's recalculating. But that's because I'm working on this spreadsheet. It's the kind of thing we can stop and we can run the click of a button or something. But imagining in this example, this is the only thing I'm going to do on this sheet. Now that it's created, it's not a problem. Now I can keep columns B and C here, but I can also hide them if I wish. But Keeping them there for the moment, this is what I've got now. The current randomly generated list is Wendy to Sandra. To randomise it again, I simply have to press my F9 key. The F9 key calculates the functions on the sheet. So if I do it right now, and press F9, it recalculates. So now I've got Andrew to John. 
And if I press it again, I've got Wendy to Felicity. And again, I've got Sandra to Wendy and so on. Randomizing that list because of this random generator and of me saying, look for the biggest one, look for the second biggest. That's how it works. Now, if you're not a fan of shortcuts uh, like F9, I can also go to the formulas tab and press calculate sheet on the far right hand side there, which I'm demonstrating on screen at the moment. Uh, so it could be on a click of a button as opposed to the click of a keyboard button. Uh, as I mentioned, if I wanted this to look a bit cleaner, I can hide B and C. They're not necessary to be seen, so it looks a lot cleaner in this approach. And I press calculate sheet. I'm just seeing the names being randomized or, or kind of shuffled each time. There's a much greater effect when they're not visible. Behind the scenes are doing the hard work, but they're not visible to the person using it. And that is a nice little tip, a little trick, if you will, to randomly sort a list in Excel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.